Gate analysis is a field of medical study which concentrates on studying the mechanics of human walk. One of the issues in the field is establishing accurate correlations between the modifications in the gait of a patient and the progress made in the treatment. Multiple technologies were developed to address the problem. They are used to characterize and record the full dynamics of the gait of a patient. For example, markers combined with cameras, instrumented treadmills, and electromyography measurement systems combined with inertial sensors. Most of those technologies have one point in common. They are exclusive to specialized laboratories. The volume they occupy and the facilities needed make it hard to monitor progress in patients. Only punctual feedback can be returned based on the periodicity of the visits of the patients. Smaller and wearable sensors could allow constant monitoring and accelerate the recovery process of multiple patients allowing them to improve continuously using real-time feedback that could be provided by such small sensors. On the flip side, only a limited amount of information can be harnessed by a single wearable sensor. We propose an approach which bypasses this issue by using a neuroaccelerometer. But what is a neuroaccelerometer? Neuro stands for Neuromorphic Processing. In 2018, we demonstrated the first MEMS reservoir computer. The device was able to recognize spoken digits from 0 to 9 and to classify binary streams. A reservoir computer is a type of artificial neural network. While typical neural nets are trained by adjusting the interconnection strengths between the nodes, a reservoir computer has fixed weights in a hidden layer called reservoir and a simple linear output layer is trained to reproduce the desired output signal. This method greatly simplifies hardware implementation by allowing us to treat the physical reservoir as a black box, which generates nonlinear transformations of the input signal and its history. In order to further facilitate its physical implementation, the MEMSRC leverages a technique where spatial coupling between the nodes is replaced by temporal multiplexing, creating virtual nodes coupled in time through the nonlinear dynamics of a single silicon bead. Signals are input electrically on an electrode placed in close proximity to a silicon beam resonator. Varying the strength of the electric field between the beam and its driving electrode causes a nonlinear variation of the beam oscillation amplitude. The resulting beam oscillation signal is measured through piezoresistive strain gauges and is used to construct the output signal of the reservoir computer through a simple linear combination of the measurements. The neuroaccelerometer takes the idea of the MEMSRC one step further by conferring it acceleration sensing capabilities. We thus take the same oscillating silicon beam, but instead of driving it with a fixed electrode, we suspend the ladder over the substrate and increase its mass, which allows it to move in response to acceleration signals applied to the device. This displacement of the electrode modulates the electric field forcing the beam and acts as the input layer of the reservoir computer. The result is a trainable neuromorphic processor for which the input is acceleration. The MEMS devices were fabricated in the clean rooms of the Interdisciplinary Institute for Technological Innovation in Sherbrooke. Starting from a P-doped SOI substrate, we patterned the resin on the device layer in order to subsequently etch the mechanical structures through advanced silicon etching. The resin is then O2 stripped directly in the plasma reactor before proceeding with the vapor HF release of the mobile mechanical structures. These plasma and vapor etches are done in order to avoid any liquid which could produce tiction. The samples are then dressed with a laser cut stainless steel stencil before gold evaporation. Finally, the stencils are removed and the dye are wire bonded to a PCB, ready for testing. Applying forces through a mechanical probe confirms that the mobile structures are indeed released from the substrate. The following demonstration aims to give an overview of the current state of the technology, as well as showing how it could be used as a pathologic gate classifier. The acceleration signal used in the demonstration originates from records of gate motion taken in the laboratory of CIRIS in Quebec City. These records are taken by an accelerometer placed on top of multiple patients' shoes. Both LT and non-LT gate patterns are saved. Then, post-treatment using ground reaction force data allows us to split each dataset by step. 
A new acceleration signal can be mixed from the steps to create a walking pattern with a chosen proportion of healthy and unhealthy steps. Our device is then trained using these mixed signals to differentiate in real time between healthy and unhealthy walking patterns. The neuroaccelerometer is evaluated using an experimental setup of three subsystems the linear actuator, the excitation circuit, and the measurement circuit. First off, a shaker is fed a scaled-down version of the acceleration dataset described earlier. It then reproduces it with a PID controller, while the neuroaccelerometer is fixed on the mobile part of the shaker. An external high-voltage circuit is connected through the inertial mass and the beam. As a consequence of the polarization, an electrostatic force proportional to the square of the voltage is applied between the beam and the proof mass. The amplitude and frequency of the drive signal are adjusted to match the resonant frequency of the beam. In order to increase the diversity of the dynamical response, a random binary sequence, the mask, is used to modulate the amplitude of the drive signal. The measurement apparatus is connected to the piezoresistors attached to the sides of the beam. The resistance varies with the induced strain on the piezoresistors, allowing the electrical measurement of the amplitude of the oscillation. The output layer of the reservoir computer is constructed by grouping readings of displacement signal in short time windows of about 10 milliseconds. The samples contained within each time window are then linearly combined to produce the output signal. As the time window is two orders smaller than the analyzed signal dynamics, the objective is to get a response of the reservoir that fluctuates non-linearly continuously during a step cycle. Precise adjustment of electronic parameters are required in order to obtain an information-rich reservoir computer response. The measurement x taken in each time window are then summed together with their associated ponderation weights to create a one-dimensional prediction signal output y. These weights are optimized using a ridge regression during the training phase to correlate the acceleration data felt by the sensor to the corresponding nature of the data or the objective values. The following experiment will show the neuroaccelerometer in operation. The device will detect the difference between a normal and a pathologic flat foot walking pattern. Since it is a neuroaccelerometer, the device first needs to be trained. For this purpose, 200 examples of mixed walking patterns are used. Optimal weights for the classification are calculated from the resulting measurements. A decision threshold is chosen to allow classification and maximize accurate detection of pathologic steps. Once the neuroaccelerometer is trained, it is ready to use as detector. New randomly mixed walking signals are generated and reproduced experimentally with the shaker. The real-time response from the device is shown in the lower graph. Experimental simulation of 250 steps is done seven times to evaluate the discrimination accuracy between normal and pathologic cycles. The results show that our device has an accuracy of 93.9%. The next steps, demonstrated numerically, include increasing the capabilities of our device to a multi-case classifier and using it as a gate speed estimator. While the signal acquisition setup shown previously is fairly bulky, we have designed a small, battery-powered acquisition board as a first step in miniaturizing the system. This will enable clinical gate analysis tests with the neuroaccelerometer, but will also allow its integration into a multitude of other applications where a small form factor is beneficial. For instance, our lab is already developing solutions using the neuroaccelerometer to control underactuated and nonlinear robotics, such as an autonomous drone and an inverted pendulum. As explicited in this video, our innovative neuromorphic MEMS approach has obvious advantages in terms of robustness and adaptability for biomechanical applications. Many other applications which benefit from a small form factor and low power dissipation could also be enhanced by this technology.